Yo, what's up Gears fans? This is Dunnerman bringing you another tutorial on how to do a master run on the map reclaimed. This is a good setup and fun to do and fairly solid. As this loads in, I'll start to give you a brief down on the characters we're using. We're using JD, Kate, Dell, Jack and Marcus. And I'd also like to give a shout out to the following people for helping me put this tutorial together and putting up with my shenanigans. I'd like to give a shout out to Killer P, Morris, Doranob, Slaughter, and the lovely Sambuka. We'll be setting up in the cottage spawn, but this setup can be replicated on both sides of the map. So don't feel like you have to do it there. Please feel free and do it on the other side or do it wherever you want. This is just a basic setup on how to get you through a master's run. Eee, here we go. Right, as I sprint down to the other side of the map, I'll sort of show you where we're going to put the barriers and who's standing where. And what's what? I'm going to put a first set of barriers lengthways in this doorway here and sort of double them up. Get Kate stood in this room. Put a couple of barriers along here, the crisscross apple source eventually. And this is where Marcus will be stood with barriers along here. JD is usually pitched up here behind the fab there's a bit of cover and also with this box right here it's pretty good just to be shooting straight down the range you've seen as you can see the barriers are now tripled up here we've got a weapons logger for kate in the room where she stays we've got a sentry out we've got a forge up we usually get the forge up by like wave five we've got a couple of barriers now where marcus will be stood and this is where i was on about having a good shot down the range with the fab where it is Now, mini boss wave. Oh, we've got a stub. Stump. My bad. <laughs> you see, I've sort of peppering a few rounds down the range, up in the room where Marcus will be stood. Sort of seeing what's going on, scoping out what's what. All the barriers are in place now. The crisscross apple sauce. Sort of talking in the party, seeing what's what going on. They are coming down the middle. You'll see them barriers holding them off really well. You'll see that these won't be able to get in either. It sort of holds them back so Marcus can let loose on them with a try shot. Lucky enough, we got robots so he's able to get a try shot in the first couple of waves. There's a scion, we don't want that coming in. Deal with that ASAP. But then barriers crossed like that, you can see how well it is actually holding them back. And it's giving us the freedom to be moving around and not get shot at. As of yet. <laughs> so I'll just put that back on there, grab another one. Now it's time to deal with the stump. There he is. Smash out a GL. Hit him again with another one. Try not to get hit. Oh, not good. Uh, lucky enough, that was enough bleed on him to put, finish the wave. This is wave 18. Don't be this guy. Don't know what he's thinking there, but <laughs> funny stuff. Up on your feet, Marcus. Wave 30. You can see the base is a bit more advanced. We've got level four shocks, we've got level four sentries up. They complement the, the shocks quite well. They sort of zap them and they hold things in place whilst they're being locked down on the barriers. There's me just sort of scoping things out, waiting for her to show her ugly face, Miss Matriarch. And as this is going on, we are all talking in the party. Again, I've said in previous tutorials communication is the key we're all talking understanding where everyone is we sort of know what's going on as you can see I'm sort of there just preparing stuff away shooting a few rounds here there and everywhere and uh, I've just had a shout out from Marcus to fire a few in the room so that's what I've done but the sentries sort of mop that up again they are being held on the barriers 
we're still eagerly waiting for the matriarch to sort of show her ugly face. I think she's on the move. I would not want to be Kate in this situation. <laughs> oh, there she is. Get out of there, Kate, quick. There she goes. Here she comes now. And luckily, I've just hit her with a death from above, and now I'm just going to smash the GL straight on her head and get her out of the way. Bang, there you go. She didn't want any more of that. Bye bye. <laughs> now it's just a case of mopping up the final round. Final, final enemies that are left. Then we're all talking. And look, as you can see, I've left this bit in it because we are going down here. It's just showing you that you do not want to switch off even though the boss has been dealt with. You need to be on your wits, keeping everything about, knowing what's going on. And get ready to do the odd revives because the last couple of enemies can wipe you if, you're, you know, if your concentration is slacking at this point. We go, just fire a few down there. Make sure everything's all right. And that's the boss wave. As you can see, I've got a spare locker there for boom shots. It's always handy to keep a couple of boom shots on this locker just in case you get the bastions and you need something to shoot at. They're the ideal weapon for them. And that's wave four, uh, 30. Marcus has a bit of a rough time on this and does have a lot of help from Jack but he's good with the chainsaw as you can see he's taking a bit of a battering up there you could trust the old Jack's giving him the love ray and keeping him on his feet why he's got a torque bow I don't know but it's his weapon of choice that thing should be forged if you ask me here we go wave 35 this is just sort of a demonstration of how strong the base is now. You'll see that they will not be getting through them barriers. Everything's all locked up in place. Everyone's got their positions. And again, it's just a free, it's just have fun now. You can sort of shoot down the range. The JD, you've got Marcus there, zapping into that little hallway. Giving him a shout out saying that he's got a warden coming in. It's getting close. There he is, dealt with. Heard the head pop then. Lovely sound. We've also got another one, so I'll just fire a few down there, just to see if I can deal with him, see if I can hit him. There we go, there goes the helmet. King! Love that. <laughs> Kate's dealing with the other one by the looks of it. But if she needs my hands, I will be there. Firing GLs in there, sorting her out. There's one gone. There's the other one gone. And that's wave 35. But you've just seen the barriers, we're keeping everything out. The shock sentries were stunning them. As they're being stunned, they're being mopped up by the bullet sentries, and also they've got a backup from my GL raining down on them, which works really well. Marcus looks like he's having a bit of a tough time over there, but he's dealing with it. Hats off for him. And look, there they are, they're working their magic, keeping them back. They don't know what to do. City of Margo. Pop its heads. <laughs> there we go. Wave 40. Barriers are all in place. What I've just run through little bits and bobs with you now. There's a level 3 locker, level 4 sentry, level backup sentries just in case we get flies coming into the base. They're good to have. And there's everything all up and running. Crisscross apple sauce. We've also got two shock sentries in here with Kate just to sort of stun them as they're coming in. She can sort of pick them off and get the kill on them. We do. What have we got? We've got a snatcher, the hairy one. It's back. So, what I'll do here is I'll just have a quick swap round of the weapons, make sure I've got full ammo on all of them. Swap my GL out. Grab out another GL. Here it comes again. We are all talking in the party, looking around, knowing what's going on. As you can see, the snatchers decide to come straight down the middle on us. So I'll take cover on the fab, or try to. Make sure I don't get shot with that spike. Hit it with a death from above. There it is. Buzzkill in the top left-hand corner. As you can see, he's coming down the stairs. 
I might get a call out in a minute, so be aware of that. Feel the RJD. That he's been dealt with. There's a puncture in the base, don't want that either. <laughs> oh, get the NG up to her feet. It's again, you, I just love how these barriers are holding them back and the sentries are just doing their work. They're pretty much self-running base here. It, it basically runs itself. It's a solid setup, fun setup. And there we go, that's a wave 40 done. Wave 45. Here we go, just another quick brief through the base, just another talk through. Just to make just in case you've missed anything. Everything's level four now. Part of the barriers, we keep them level two because we find they're easier to repair and they work best. Sentry and the little gangway there where we keep the forge and just a couple of more old deer sentries just in case anything goes wrong but you'll see them work when we put a flyer a sentinel which we've got now now I've kept this this is a bit of a long scene but I do apologize but I just wanted to show you because you can see how everything's working how we're working as a team how we're aware of what's going on how things are working there's the old deer sentries coming into play there they're holding them at bay we've got Jack hovering around good old Jack picking up the NG there oh he's gonna missed it <laughs> ah well there we go look Hitting the lamp post. Oh, I've gone down. I'm dead. But this is pretty interesting now because you can see a view from all the other characters that are still alive. There's Kate in the room there, picking them off at the door. There's Jack hovering around doing a bit. You sort of see it from a different angle. I'm back. Luckily enough, I hit a GL straight in. Bang, bang, bang. Don't want to be running into the wall like that. Don't do that not the best thing you can do luckily enough this sentinel stood still so I can still manage to quickly lock into it but I've run out of ammo like a lemon and not paid attention to it so we're gonna have to quickly do a little run to the uh, locker and sw swap out as you can see we are all going down in these rounds we, we, you know these things are lethal and hard to deal with and that is the whole point of these sentries being where they are so they're able to sort of deal with them and we're not having to worry about taking them all out on our own because they keep them in the middle and as long as we keep our wits about us we should be able to deal with them all right but this is where a lot of people wipe as you can see I've died again but the team all know what's going on they're all taking their spots here's Marcus look how close that sentinel is to his thing I'd have been tempted to chuck a melee in that but it is Marcus at the end of the day <laughs> And luckily enough, here's Kate getting the bleed damage on it. Pick up the pieces. I'll be back in in a second. Here I am. Here it comes. Stuck on the little building thing here, so I'm able to get a few shots with the GL. These things, I don't know what it is, but they like to fly straight at you. So you just sort of, sort of wiggle about, jump about, and hope that you don't get shot by it there we go there's wave 45 and that's how we dealt with the sentinels as you can see everything was coming into play there it was good teamwork good like positioning of the sentries although they have taken a battering they worth their weight in gold there and i highly recommend having them highly recommend having them and this is just mopping them up but have you noticed the sentries and the fences were holding back everything whilst that was going on and that's how important it is to get them barriers up all in place I you know we were running around the base there taking shots only from the sentinels nothing else and that's compliments to the engineer there doing a bit positioning everything like she has one left so we'll try and clear that up fairly quick but there that was way 45 now final boss wave 
We've seen how everything works. We've seen what's going on with it. We pulled a carrier of all the bosses. Yay! I wanted a Swarmac, but the whole party's telling me to shut up. I love Swarmacs. Here we go. Wave 50. As you can see, we've got the Forge out as a decoy, because... You know, you're either going to wipe or you're going to make it. And what's the point in taking it to wave 51? There is no point whatsoever. So we sort of sat around now, just scoping about what's going on. Marcus has got his iron sights locked on something. Oh, it's the carrier. Hit it with a death from above. Spam a few rockets at it. See what else is going on around the field. There's not much. The engineer's busy repairing still with the wave. But now we've got a bit of a predicament. We've got... Kate and we've got Jack down. So I'm having to run in there, quickly get them up, and get out of there. Now if you're in a predicament and you find that Jack and someone else has gone down, I'd highly recommend getting Jack up first to be able to get out of there and pick everyone else up, rather than concentrating on the person player, because what tends to happen is, you know, th they'll get up, then they'll go down, whereas Jack can get out of the situation and sort of heal through a wall or get someone else up. Also, another thing worth mentioning is, is when someone goes down, don't all run as a group to go pick that one person up. Someone shouts out in the party that they're going to get them, leave them to go get them, unless they go down and then someone else goes, because all it will take is a boom shot to take the whole team down, and that can be a wipe. As you can see, this carrier now is giving us a bit of aggro, but it's stuck on the fences. The sentries are doing their bit. Everything's constantly hammering it, so it's holding it at bay. I'm hitting it now with a boom shot, just to sort of deal with it. And there we go, the bleed's coming into it. Goodbye, carrier. Jobs are good in. There's Jack, healing Marcus across the wall, giving him a bit of a helping hand. As we all know, Marcus is a bit of a weak character. The only good thing about him is the chainsaw. But now they've gone down again. So again, we're all talking about what's going on, who's going to go get them. There goes Kate individually on our own oh dear that's all three down now so now we're all talking saying that we need to st stay calm crawl back to us don't put yourself out in fire because things can go wrong as they're crawling back to us i'm sort of looking around they're saying yeah they're coming they're coming they're looking down the map saying if anything's there give me the all clear there we go get up marcus get up kate now they can run off and do their thing and i can focus fire down the range That forge just taking a battering, but it's still up there. Amazing decoys. But, again, nothing's come into the base. The way that it's set up, it is a solid base. You notice nothing's running around with us. We have the odd pouncer jump in. But we are dropping like flies here. There we go. There's four of us down. One up. Here comes Jack again. And there's Jack doing what I said earlier. Being able to pick everyone up. Bang, five left. Ha <laughs> ha! Smash from above! I mean, death from above! <laughs> and that's it, that's just wave 50 done. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. Uh, make sure you check back for more tutorials, or if you want to see a different map, hit it down below. We'll be happy to do that. Once again, thank you.